That's curtains on day two of the Denver Broncos training camp here from the beautiful UC Health Training Center in Dove Valley, Colorado. Your Broncos training camp coverage sponsored by Fuco Motors. Richie Cozzolino alongside Troy Lynch. Troy, hot day here at Ooh. Denver Broncos training camp, but still a lot of energy out there on the field. Yeah, it's hovering around 100 degrees, but that is not stopping this Denver Broncos team. They look real clean and real crisp today, and a lot of that has to do with the new head coach, Vic Fangio. And we're going to talk a lot about him in this upcoming segment, but everybody's really buying into a system right now. They're really just tired of being bad. Over the last couple of yep. seasons when you only win 10 games, in the last two years, change needs to be happening. And, you know, so far in the two days of training camp, it has been happening. It has been happening. We talked about that no-fly zone lore of 2015 when the Broncos reached their peak and won the Super Bowl. Things have kind of gone downhill since then, you know, back-to-back -back losing seasons. That does not happen often here in the Mile High City, but things have changing. Nick Fangio's in, Vance Joseph is out, and I think the focus now is solely on the defense. Yeah, that's right. And Derek Wolf, we were talking to him a little bit in the press conference today, and he said the team chemistry has been way better this year since the last two years, and here's what he said about the difference between 2018 and 2019. You know what I mean? We had Case Keenum. We were thinking, you know, we got a new quarterback. It's going to be good. We're going to win. We really believed that last year, just like we really believed that this year, that Joe Flacco was going to come in and command that offense, and just like we believe that Vic Fangio is going to come in and demand this team, and he's do and that's happening already. So, uh, you know, we have a, a really good winning formula here. And the little things are being done right. You don't see it. Do you see one fight? Usually in the first two days, I've been, I'm at least in three fights. <laughs> it's usually, I'm not start. how do I start it? Richie, if you've been in as many fights as Derek Wolf had, you've had to start at least a couple. I think so. However, I don't think he's going to be starting uh, that many, at least in the future, because he is a new father. He nice. just uh, had a baby girl named Roxana, so congratulations to him. And you know what? He's gonna also going to be a big part of Fangio's defense this upcoming season. I think so. Looking at the stats from 2018, it needs a little bit of revamping. Denver was 22nd in total defense in 2018. Now compare that to Chicago's defense, the team that Coach Vic Fangio was the coach as a defensive coordinator first in pretty much every major defensive statistical category. Of course, it helps when you have Khalil Mack on your line. Yeah, but Broncos have Von Miller, so also, tomato, tomato. Also true, yeah. One's just worth a lot more apparently right now. Right now. Khalil Mack with that max contract. Anyway, 20 <laughs> of the last 24 seasons as a defensive coordinator, Vic Fangio has been at the NFL level. He's been coaching in the NFL since 86, so you know the Ooh. guy has a ton of experience. He also brought over one of his guys who was a trademark on that Chicago Bears defense. We're talking about Bryce Callahan, the cornerback, just signed a three-year, $21 million uh, deal with Denver. So after four years with Chicago, he goes with his head coach to the Mile High City. Now the players, we talked from today at practice, especially a lot of the defensive players, seem to be enjoying the critiques they're getting from Coach Fangio and that new coach mentality. Yeah, he's definitely put uh, put some time into us and, you know, just looking at us, you know, we have a great coach, Coach Herring, and then we got uh, him. He's almost like a second coach for us. Just to really be able to pick apart our game and tell us what we're, you know, we need to work on and, and what we're doing good on. Oh, every day is a, a, a valuable day. You know, you can try to get 1% better every day. You try to try to win every day and be, uh, be the best you can every day. You can kind of look at the film, be like, this was good, that was good. And then after that, after you finish watching the film, you got to move on and go to the next day because the next day holds new challenges. Yep, so there you go. Vic Fangio's already setting the mentality, setting the standard. We also talked about earlier today how there's no music anymore at Denver right. Broncos training camps because Vic's cutting that out. He says he wants the noise level to be accurate, so they're going to pump in noise later, but no music for now. Right. I wonder if the players like that. Maybe not he, on camera. You know, I talked else. to a couple of the players if they like the no music, and they do like it because it gives a more serious vibe. They're really serious about winning this year, and there's no music during the games. That's what they're, Coach Vic Fangio they're said. They're saying the right things. They're <laughs> saying the right things, of course, but they're going to do some situational stuff later on this year we're going with some crowd noise and obviously that's what you're going to experience during games but right. how are you going to argue with a coach who wears a sweatshirt in a hundred degree yeah, we got some heat. video of that yeah we Woo. got some video <laughs> video that i don't know how vic fangio does it but he's wearing sweatshirts acting like this weather is just peachy like he's on the beach of southern california uh, i don't know how he's doing it we actually talked to some of the players about how crazy they think vic fangio is for doing that <laughs> No, nah, that's him. That's him. Literally, since day one, that's that's he walked in with that. I don't think he'll ever change. To be honest, I, it can be a hundred degrees. He'll probably still wear the same thing. I don't know, man. <laughs> Maybe he likes to feel warm. I'm not sure. You'll have to ask him on that one. But that that is something. I'm telling you, I hate to be, but I've been in way more severe weather than this, and uh, it doesn't feel hot to me. 
It really doesn't. Now, when I was in those other places, I was in a lot better shape myself, so I didn't mind. You know, half the reason I got this sign is to hide my gut. <laughs> 100 degree weather, it's nothing, Troy. He coached in Houston, so you know. We, right. He talked about this dry heat in Denver and in the entire Front Range, even on the Western Slope, too. So this is nothing. You know, with 40 years of coaching experience, he's been through a lot. My yeah. only question is is he going to be wearing a tank top and shorts when it's in the single digits? Ooh, maybe the short like Belichick does. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good comparison already. See, those are the questions we're going to be asking Fangio up until Monday. Hard so make sure you stick with us for all your Broncos training camp coverage. Sponsored by Puco Motors. And he's Richie Casalino. I'm Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll be right back. To the break.